reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief at night, when people are saying, peace and security. Then sudden disaster comes upon them, like labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness, for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night or darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. For God did not destine us for wrath, but to gain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, as indeed you do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe, I believe that, that I, I shall see, see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I believe, I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching, because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with a spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits and they come out. The news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Internet can be a wonderful thing. I was able to print off the prayer service for the uh, day of uh, prayer for creation, which the Holy Father is actually not had yet. But the document is here, and that's kind of nice. So I was able to do a translation of the prayer, the closing prayer for the rite, that I think is useful for us. Uh, but what I want to do is first just to reflect on a painting. And the painting is by a Dutch painter, Hieronymus Bos, and it's called The Garden of Earthly Delights, and it's actually a triptych. So you open the thing up, and the left-hand panel, as you're looking at it, is God presenting Eve to Adam, 
nice, bucolic, peaceful. Then the middle thing. You got everybody doing everything you can possibly imagine that isn't pretty. And they're all having a good time, you know, till you get to the third panel, which is hell. And that hell is filled with bizarre creatures, mechanized instruments of torture, on and on and on. So in, in its own way, it's a reflection on the kind of spirituality that Dante would have shown, or would, would show later on in his Divine Comedy, where people were in various levels of hell, having various torments applied to them that somehow reflect what at least Dante thought they were doing during their lifetimes. So this is a gross thing. Because as people are celebrating their own selfishness, they are converting, according to the Bosch triptych, they are converting the world from a Garden of Eden into hell. And that's why we want to be respectful of creation. Because after all, God made it. You know, we read in Genesis, and that's one of the readings, in fact, that is, do is going to be done with the Holy Father's prayer service. God looked on all things he had made and found them very good. So we want to be respectful in the way we use things. We want to be respectful in the way we respect life, our lives, human lives, as well as God's creatures. The, it's not an accident, I don't think, that Pope Francis would want to do something like this because as a Jesuit, he knew that at the end of the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius, the goal is to be able to find God in all things because after all, God created them and sustains them in his love without which they wouldn't exist, nor would we. So the closing prayer is this, with a relatively free translation. O God, almighty creator, you call us to generosity and to give all. Give us the strength and light we need to go forward. We thank you, for you are with us every day, and your love guides us always to discover new paths. Strengthen us in our struggle for justice, love, and peace. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us stand and pray.